the fibers into yarns so for better understanding let us assume a raw material to be cotton now we all know that cotton is grown in farms it comes to the mill in the form of bales bales are basically tightly compressed packages as you all can see in the image so we need to open it into flocks or tufts and as cotton is a natural material there may be a lot of impurities it may be organic waste or inorganic waste that needs to be clear clean because it may lead to disturbances in my spinning process so that is why a blow room machine is used the main object of blow room is to open the material and clean the material in olden blow room lines the bales were fed and a lap was produced but nowadays in modern times in modern machines a chute feed system is used where the flocks are directly transferred to the next machine the next machine is a carding machine so as you all can see in the photo this is a old carding machine where a lap that was produced on a blow room line is fed nowadays directly flocks are transferred to the carding machine on a blow room machine the material was opened and cleaned but still the material has a lot of impurities there is a lot of impurities that is adhered to the material and to clean that we need to separate each fiber we need fiber individualization and that is carried out on a carding machine the main objective of carding machine is fiber to fiber separation or individualization of fibers removal of waste and also removal of nebs up to a certain extent here a lap was fed and a sliver is formed as you all can see in the image sliver is nothing but a thick strand of textile material the next machine in the spinning line is the draw frame machine what happened on a carding machine is that we separated the individual fibers for cleaning but then again we doved it to form a sliver so here there may be a lot of entanglements and the fibers may not be parallel and there may be a lot of unevenness in textiles wherever we need to increase parallelization we draft the material drafting is nothing but reducing the weight per unit length of the material and wherever we need to increase evenness we do doubling doubling is combining of two or more slivers in this case that is exactly what we do on a draw frame machine we combine 6 to 8 slivers and then draft them and what we get is a resultant sliver this sliver is known as a draw frame sliver now we have a draw frame sliver and we need to make a yarn out of it but as we know the draw frame sliver is thick and practically converting it into yarn in a single process is not possible so the next process speed frame is an intermediate process in which the sliver is converted into a roving a roving is a slightly twisted strand or a lead as you can see in the photo here the number of fibers in the cross section are less and therefore a slight twist is required to hold the fibers together this roving is now wound on smaller packages which is known as roving bobbins in the image you can see these are the roving bobbins so basically the object of the speed frame machine is drafting the material giving a slight twist and then winding it drafting twisting and winding the next process is ring frame in this process we will get our yarn so the roving bobbins are taken out and fed to the ring frame machine as you all can see in the photo the roving is then drafted according to the count that is required and then it is twisted to hold the consecutive fibers together and then wound on packages known as ring bobbins now this yarn which we get is called as a carded yarn there is one more type of yarn called as a combed yarn in a yarn there may be a lot of variation in fiber length some fibers may be long some fibers may be short the longer the fibers the more is the strength and more is the evenness so in a combed yarn the short fibers are eliminated or removed so to produce this combed yarn we need to add some machines in the process the starting sequence remains the same there's a blue room 
there's a carding machine and then we have a draw frame breaker and the object of that remains the same but after that we have added a new process known as the comber preparatory where we prepare the feed material for the comber so the draw frame slivers are fed and a lap is prepared and eight such laps are then fed to the comber we will not get into the technical details and we'll be explaining them later but for now just remember that a comber removes the short fibers the fibers that are eliminated on a comber machine are known as noil and it is useful because it is blended with the material in the blow room due to the removal of short fibers there was a lot of breakages and joining marks on our sliver so now the sliver that we have has a lot of unevenness and therefore we introduce a second passage of draw frame known as a draw frame finisher the object remains the same it increases the evenness and the parallelization and then the sliver is then fed to the speed frame where we get the rowing and then the rowing is fed onto a ring frame where we receive the combed yarn so this is the passage for a combed yarn the passage that you see on the left hand side of the screen is the carded yarn and the passage that you see on the right hand side is for the combed yarn combed yarns are more smoother more 